जय श्री कृष्ण अब लिटिल मो न कंजर ऐड करेंगे इधर डर करता मैं लेंगे हाँ पौन रहने के ना Jai Shri Krishna. So now my mother is going to make the aloe vera sabji and first she is putting the uh, cold pressed coconut oil into the pan. I mean the pot. So this is um, the ghana cold pressed oil that we uh, um, get by taking the coconuts to a particular place where they do it in a cold pressed way where they, where they press the oil. That's mustard. The oil has to first melt because it's in a solid state due to the rains in the past one week. Now my mother added mustard. This is jeera, cumin seeds. So combined with aloe vera, um, this particular uh, spice, jeera, it, um, it reduces chances of getting cold and is also very good in increasing the beneficial heat in our body while reducing the harmful heat. This is black sesame seeds known for their amazing properties in, um, in stopping the growth of cancer and also this one is flaxseed and has numerous properties in solving constipation.
especially its oil and its omega-3 fatty acids and this is a joint trachyspermum ami and it is a well-known agent in reducing cold especially in the winter season or in the rainy season we use this to prevent microbial infections especially of the colder type and this is red chili a very powerful herb well known and many people say red chili is very bad for health but if taken in moderation it is extremely wonderful and um, and studies have shown that it is also capable of reducing stomach pain and um, even various acharyas of Ayurveda in the past advised people to consume one chili every day even though it might be of um, other origin it is very good for our health this is curry leaves and you can watch my sister's video on it it is a very powerful anti-diabetic agent these are green chilies um, from our farm terrace garden this is raw mango powder and um, garam masala. and garam masala this is turmeric all of course all of you know that turmeric is an amazing um, anti-cancer agent anti yeah this is all homemade everything um, including the powders so wherever possible we try to get the most authentic spices and the most um, pure pure materials for making the dishes this is the famed Sainthava Lavana that cures numerous diseases and is an amazing alternative to the poisonous refined salt that is also home ground home powdered I would say These are tomatoes, chopped. Once this gets cooked, we are going to add the aloe vera. So this is dhania powder. So 
now my mother is going to add aloe vera finally this is of course anti-diabetic and can cure constipation and is extremely powerful but there is a way to cut it and uh, you can watch that clipping for for the reference it is anti-hypoglycemic and it's an amazing herb we have grown it all around our house and um, at least um, to number it it would be around uh, 500 plants looks very nice it isn't bitter if you cut it the right way it will be just like a jelly without any bitter taste Please try this at home and enjoy its amazing herbal properties but um, now it's getting cooked and it will be wonderful to eat it with rotis or if you prefer it with rice even that is fine but with basmati rice it would be better. The color has started to lighten. Hmm. Stirring frequently releases 18 micronutrients that are naturally present in the mud pot into the food, making it super nutritious along with enhancing its flavor. Also, this type of slow and open pan cooking will deliver us with utmost benefits, which are actually destroyed in pressure cooking. Hence, I urge our dear viewers to show patience and consider cooking as an art that is really rewarding. Now this is ready. Jai Shri Krishna, Jai Shri Ramachandra, Jai Shri Lakshmi